What's up, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Thin. If you guys are just tuning in for the very first time today, uh, I play Call of Duty. A lot of you guys have asked for all of my settings. And so this is going to be the most in-depth that I can possibly be in settings. It's going to be... It could be kind of misconstrued as a rant of sorts, uh, but this is something after uh, probably like 10,000 plus hours of just gaming, just very intense uh, competitive gaming that, that we, we have all these different settings all right first things first um play mouse and keyboard where you guys can see it on the keyboard camera here as well uh let's just kind of go through everything uh start to finish mouse sense you can have it uh i have it it's, it's basically four my dpi is 1200 i think my polling rate is 500 uh but yeah dpi 1200 mouse sense is about 3.77 close enough to four uh if you go through the multipliers here it's all a very very even ratio you want to use this uh relative setting because if you have it on Legacy, your irons and your 1x sights are going to be a little bit too zoomed in and your recoil control is going to be all kind of messed up. So I would not do Legacy. I would stick with uh, Relative. And then my multipliers are all 1.0. Uh, AD sensitivity, transition, timing. I think these are just default. This is gradual and the monitor coefficient is 1. Point. I think this is just default. That's just, I don't know. I don't know what that is, but it works. So uh, I haven't really messed around too much. A lot of my settings are pretty much uh, default. Mouse acceleration, you don't want any sort of mouse acceleration. Make sure mouse acceleration is also turned off in Windows. I can kind of show you that setting actually right now. Additional mouse options, here we go. All right, this uh, point, uh, is it buttons? Pointer options, there we go, right here. You do not want to have enhanced pointer precision turned on. Make sure this is off. When you have enhanced pointer precision, that turns on the acceleration. Uh, so yeah, you gotta you gotta make sure that's off. That's another another tip. All right, movement. Uh, slide is tap. Crouch is toggle. Toggle so you can crouch spam. The reason why you want to be able to crouch spam is so that you can continue. You can keep your movement on like an angle. If if someone's over there, you want to just be able to just kind of micro peek them. Crouch spamming is going to be used in conjunction with movements so you can crouch spam when you're shooting someone as well or you can crouch spam when you're sniping your seat crouched you pop up take the shot and pop back down so like this you pop up to the side take the shot and pop back down so if you have like a piece of cover like this this is way too much exposure but you can just be like this so something like this as well so this is crouch spamming slide canceling is when you go slide cancel slide cancel sprint sprint all right, so here's a quick video of slide canceling. So you're going to be tack sprinting, which means you have to double tap the sprint button, right? So tack sprinting, and then you slide, cancel. In order to cancel, you just tap the slide button again. So you slide, cancel, slide, cancel, sprint, sprint. So this is what it looks like. You, it, depending on if you have double time or not, you're going to want to have like two or three steps. Basically, it's uh, automatic tack sprint. What are you doing here? That's that's what this setting, at least at least for uh, for PC uh sprint tactical sprint i have i have mine on toggle some people have it on hold toggle um you, you just want to give your pinky a rest um some people have automatic uh tactical sprint I like, think like if you play on like a controller that's that's also okay i have mine disabled because that's just me i like to be in control of my movement sometimes i want to just walk very slowly and just kind of uh you know just kind of move around uh and then we have um Parachute auto deploy. Make sure that's enabled because, yeah, always you're gonna just go. Oh my god! Why? <laughs> <laughs> Splat. We've done that a lot. All right, my keybinds. Here we go. Uh, WSD, of course. My use and interact is F. Use F. Uh, of course, jump is uh, space. Crouch is C. Prone is Z. This is actually a PUBG uh, keybind. This is one of the changes. Uh, change. We ha we don't have any changes here. A uh, left shift. This is just for sprinting. Again, that's a PUBG keybind. Um, gesture and spray. I move mine all the way up there, so I don't. But uh, it's. I think that's called tilde. Yes, yeah, tilde. It's next to the number one key. Weapons and movement. Okay, depleted ammo weapon switch. Mine's enabled. Some people have this disabled. Doesn't really matter. I've not messed with the weapon switch minimum delay. You can kind of mess with this. But again, you're going to reach the limitations when you run the amped perk. So I left mine on default. Weapon switch wrap around enable. That way I just press two and it switches my guns all the time. Uh, weapon mount activation. 
Uh, yeah, you got to toggle it on and off. Open mount movement exit enabled. So as long as I, if I look too far to the right or left, or if I uh, like crouch or something, it'll unmount me from a wall or a piece of cover. Uh, mount exit delay is 100. Aim down sight behavior. I have it on hold. Most people have it on hold. It's Call of Duty. Change zoom toggle. Oh yeah, this one's very, very special. So when you have like a uh, scopes that uh, that you can have like one of those complex ones, like the, the canted hybrid, we have a video on one of those. So in that in that video, you ha are actually able to change the reticle style and it used to be the toggling sprint. So you would try to aim, like, aim down sight and you would sprint and it would cancel it. But now I just switched mine to melee and it, it solved that problem. So that's really, really nice that they finally were able to do that. Uh, equipment behavior is hold. Um, fire, of course, left mouse button, aim down sight is right mouse button, reload is R. Um, next weapon and previous weapon one and two. So one or two just, just basically switches through my weapons. Weapon mount I have on my uh, front mouse button. That would be uh, up like yeah, right here, this one. I don't have an alternate fire. I've unbound that one. That way you don't accidentally put your weapon into single fire mode. Melee and finishing move. Yep, that's my other mouse button. So basically if you grip your mouse too tightly, then you'll end up bashing them in game. Uh, lethal equipment is G, G kind of for grenade. That is a, uh, is a PUBG keybind, I believe. Tactical equipment, that's Q. That's where I throw my stuns, my smokes, flashes. Uh, night vision goggles, we don't really use those. Field upgrade, that's X. That's like if you're gonna use like your dead silence or like your trophy or something. Weapon inspect, that's when you kind of like look all cool with your gun, that's that's I. I for inspect. Uh, kill streaks and vehicles. Let's see here. Uh, this is for multiplayer. I think this is a mostly multiplayer overlays scoreboard hold this is like when you toggle on this to see how many uh kills that you have in game map behavior hold map cursor enable that way you can kind of look around the map inventory hold so you can see what's inside your inventory uh and then you get rid of it immediately so it doesn't get stuck on your screen uh okay show map uh, i use my thumb for this m or you can also use caps lock you can you can kind of double bind it ping is e this is this is the this is one of the most special ones i use e uh, e, e for enemy. This is actually an a Apex Legends keybind. Uh, so that's really, really a lot, a lot more easily accessible. So E to ping and then double E. We go E E to mark an enemy. Yeah. Text chat is of course enter inventories tab. That's also PUBG keybind. Probably also Apex. Voice chat. I use T to talk. It's just old school, but I, I mean, we we all talk in Discord, so we don't really use it. This is just like for for in game when we have to like talking game all right now moving on to the really really cool stuff um this is nothing okay field of view um you can have it at 108 or 120 anywhere in between there um i was at 120 i was trying out uh this controller actually <laughs> Trying out this controller so i moved it to 108 um we're both okay 108 is more for if you want absolute precision. 120 is if you want to look like you're zooming around a lot more CQB stuff. Uh, there is no perfect answer for this. I switch interchangeably and you're not going to really notice too much difference. I mean, so, some people would for me. It's just like, uh, whatever. Because if you have dead silence, it's the same, same thing. Uh, brightness, you, you gotta, you gotta tweak this. Mine's probably not tweaked properly, but whatever. Um... HUD, okay, all this stuff, subtitles, colorblind mode. Some people like to turn this on, you could try it. I I just I we I have a custom uh filter. Actually, speaking of custom filters, um my buddy Glory, I don't I think yeah, this this'll this'll show up. My buddy Glory, uh he, he helped out with these, so shout out to him. Um he found it from some other uh videos. So if you have an NVIDIA GPU, then you can set these settings on. Um so there this basically makes the game just a little bit more bright, so it's not as dark in corners. Uh, this is actually a Tarkov, uh, strategy. So, uh, anyway, just match all of these and you should be able to, oh, there we go. Let me, let me scroll all the way down and you should be able to, uh, to get a similar look to, to, to what I have. So if you go to NVIDIA control panel, just you right click on the desktop, you go to NVIDIA control panel. This is where you can, you can get really, really, really nutty. My digital vibrance is like 80%. Some people, uh, some people probably say it's too high, whatever. It's, it's, it is what it is. Brightness at 55, usually it's 50, I put it at 55. Um, also, G-Sync, turn that garbage off! FPS games do not require G-Sync. G-Sync, G-Sync, free sync. It, it's, it's very, very necessary. 
for story based campaign -based type type games you know you're trying to ray trace everything you're trying to make it all nice and beautiful fine go for it you know if you're trying to play in 4k you know 60 here it's supposed to look like a movie nice and buttery smooth i understand when you're playing fps games you know where a, a, a microsecond of a frame really matters th this introduces input delay you don't believe me go look it up no no uh high tier player worth their start worth their salt is going to have this turned on turn that garbage off just don't i remember oh the other thing is like monitors i use tn panel monitors you can tell the difference between tn and ips and tn and va the uh the response the graded grade time uh, is very very noticeable now some of the newer monitors that are coming out are actually really really good they might not have that issue anymore especially as monitor technology develops turn off g-sync and i play at 1440p if you can play at 1440p 144 hertz is probably going to be pretty awesome yeah okay so let's go back over here map size make sure it's square if it's square you get i don't know how much more real estate this is some engineer or math major can tell us in the chat comment section yeah make it square it's bigger speaking of pizza oh man i'm hungry <laughs> if this was a pizza it'd be more all right uh mini map rotation enable that just means that it turns when when, when you turn oh how do, how do you get the fps counter and all this stuff up here it's it's under general make sure you have your SP, fps counter enabled your server latency that's like your ping pack a loss gpu temp you can turn these on or off just depending on how on how you want graphics all right here we go always full screen if possible uh this is my monitor uh that's my gpu screen refresh rate 144 render resolution make sure that's 100 not more not less make sure it's 100 aspect ratio automatic v and turn off v-sync my frame rate limit this this used to need to be like this was a custom setting that had to be enabled if you were gaming and streaming on the same pc using an nvidia gpu and using what is it uh and using new nvenc this was something last december i remember i talked with one of the engineers about it a long time ago anyway uh my custom game uh i'm, I'm capping it at 144 um and then in the lobby and out of lobby I'm capping at 60. um you can have highlights turned on or off this really depends on you uh i have reflex low latency disabled on some ryzen systems you have to have this enabled if you want higher frames i don't know why i, I, I don't but that's anyway if you have a ryzen system and you're like why why my frames suck well make sure your ram is if you have two sticks of ram make sure it's in slots two and four not one and three just 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 do it and then make sure you might want to try this uh turn that to on and when you turn it on you can have it enabled i think it's just enabled i don't know about the boost but anyway i might disable for right now i will probably test this more later but right now i'm doing okay uh, this you can actually have this turn to like off but some of the uh weapon skins you can only see them if it's on normal so if you're having struggles with frames turn i used to have this off like like very low I, uh, so it's really not necessary just for me since I'm making thumbnails and I have to make like a cool weapon thumbnail so that people can see it on YouTube and click in so you guys can get clickbaited. I'm just kidding. Uh, I, I have no life. I just play video games, guys. Uh, so yeah, basically, um, have it off or have it. At, you don't really need it high. It's just, it's just look, look, look how much GPU usage that is anyway. So yeah, I would just, I guess the difference between low and very low is really not that much. So you can maybe have it on low and get away with it. But yeah, um, the rest of these are like lower off bullet impacts is for you need to have this turned on this is actually very very low impact actually it's like no impact to see that it doesn't even move the vram so i would turn this one on um uh, everything else yeah just like lower off um if you're having issues turn it to low uh yeah low disable disable low disable 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 off disable filmic strength i guess i have it at one i don't really think it matters uh, if anti-aliasing is not set to any of these settings, basically in the on position, you have to set film strength to one to avoid visual noise. Okay, so yeah, because I have my anti-aliasing off, I have this turned to on. That makes sense. Anti-aliasing is huge. Uh, for whatever reason, when I have this turned on, everything looks like super, super cloudy, muddy, soft. I don't know. I don't like it. So I just have it off. Yeah, it looks kind of jagged, but whatever. I just deal with it. Uh, depth of field disabled. Yeah, anyway, disabled, disabled, film green, off, off, off. M most of everything here is lower off. Okay. Audio. Audio. I use midnight mode. And some people are like, well, you need to use boost high or boost low so that you can get the. 
Okay, try that. Try whatever you guys like. I use midnight mode, and I think it's great. And if you guys like boost high, boost low, try it. I've tried them. I think they're also okay. But for me, the reason why I use midnight mode is I play too much, right? So all the sound pressures in my ears, and if you have all this, all this bass and all this. Oh my god, it was just it, it, it ruined ruined my hearing. Anyway, so midnight mode. Uh, I have the music turned down pretty low, dialogue turned down pretty low, so that they don't shout enemy in the AO. You know, something like that. So yeah, just have that turned down. Um, effects, uh, juggernaut music. That's that's where you get that 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 heavy metal music. It's kind of kind of silly. Hit marker sounds you can have is classic. I just I turned to classic because I think it's really really funny. Yeah, you can have modern warfare classic or none. It doesn't really matter. Uh, yeah. So voice chat. You know, make sure this is turned on. Just match all these settings. I have mine on push to talk. Uh. Oh yeah, uh, for war tracks, this is so you don't get copyright struck as a streamer. Most people have this turned off. You can have this on if you like cool music. You have a lot of cool music, but you can't play it on stream. Okay, but yeah, that's basically uh, all my settings. Thank you very, very much. If you guys watched it all the way to this point, uh, awesome. Thank you. I really do appreciate you. Please hit the sub button if you enjoy Call of Duty videos because we put one out pretty much every single day. We're almost to 100,000 subs. That's our goal for this year. And uh, yeah, hit that thumb up button, that like button, whatever it's called. It helps uh, trick YouTube into showing this video into more people. Apparently, that's what I've been told. I don't know. I don't work there. I just I play the video game and and uh, yeah, seriously, hit please. Thank you. thank you. All right, guys. Um, cool. Be safe and uh, go do something cool. And then I'll see you guys in the next video where we're going to be talking about Cold War settings optimal settings so you guys can get all those juicy juicy frames thank you very much guys take care